seconds with Senor David. And today we got a special guest, Diamond Cash. How you doing today? You already know, man. We here, we live, we're awesome. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. So why did you decide to start your own business? And what exactly does your business do? So I have a motivational clothing line business and I also have a podcast. And I'm also going to expedite and uh, it's going to, my business is going to, to expand some more into real estate and doing some vending machines and just just stay tuned to that one. It's going to be big. All right. So listen, how long have you like? When did you start your business? How long has it been since you started it? So it's been about since 2017, but it started out as a motivational clothing line, and I just started out having quotes like with the quote I have now. I refuse to turn my vision to ashes. Quotes, my words will give you something to remember. Um, God did not create me for no reason. I have a purpose. And the reason why I put these quotes into merchandise is so that people can be motivated. And that way, when they wear these merchandises, they can have the motivation in their everyday lives. All right, all right, that's interesting. You hear that, folks? That's very interesting. So I gotta ask. In your opinion, because 2022 is not kind of post-pandemic, but we're getting there, you know, COVID is very much still alive. But in your opinion, you think it's going to be tough to start a business in the industry that you're in? No. Why Absolutely not? not. Because, uh, so, the industry that I'm in, if, like I said, it's, it's things that you can do in your business. So, it's not just, just one stream's of that income you can have. So it's like me just selling merch, like selling my clothes, you know, hoodies and everything. Um, you can have that, but you can, uh, you can expand that into writing a book. You can expand that to um, podcasting. You can expand that to teaching or you could you could just do multiple ways of getting multiple streams of income. So, to answer your question, like I said, no, because once again, you can generate that, and anything is you know possible. All right, all right, I hear that. So, I gotta ask you, what methods do you use to promote your business? Like, how did you get out there? Like, how did your face get on? Like, let's say Facebook, Google, or wherever you promote your business most at. How did it get there? So um, definitely it's all about marketing, advertisement. It's, it's all about branding, getting your, getting your, um, your business out there. It's all about branding and putting yourself out there. I go on social media, Facebook, Instagram, my website, my website, www.diamondcashincentives.com, Facebook, Diamond Cash Incentives, Instagram, DC Incentives 4. And for my podcast, for it's, it's like when I have guests on the show, guests is telling me about, oh, you know, I got to support your merchandise and I got to support this business. And now is that when you have this marketing and this brand, it's all about content. Put, all, put every content you have, um, put every content you have on social media. It, it, it can even be word of mouth. But what, as simple as playing for what I'm going to say is, is that it's, uh, it's all about showing up or showing out. Like, for example, you, you, you five people, ten people, you had a networking party, networking, you know, and you're telling people about your merchandise or you're telling people about your business. And that's how you can network and they can support you. Oh, wow. So listen, that's very interesting because uh, from what I got from all that is like word of mouth seems to be the best version of getting your business out there, right? Word of mouth depends. Um, it can be the best depending on who you know. It's definitely all about who you know. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Who you know is definitely important. Yeah. And I got to ask this because I need a list on what products or services that you offer. Because people probably want to shop with you, they want to know how to get in with you, but what exactly, like, list for list that you offer? Once again, if you search for www.diamondcashincentives.com, I have hoodies, shirts, I have, oh, oh man, water bottles. 
water bottle. That's not yeah, new. Water I'm bottle. That's yeah. The, that's not real new. <laughs> yeah. Water I, is a little bit different. I got respect <laughs> a it. Water bottle. Yeah. It. Definitely. I got hats. I got skull hats. Oh man, it's 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 so many merchandise that I have. I have for for the ladies out there. I have um the of hoodies um for them for you know for I have sports bras. I have leggings. Anything that you can think of, I, you know, as far as like, you know, you wearing a motivational quote, I got it. Oh, he, he, listen, ladies, he got it. But I got to know because, you know, for all the people that's listening, they, they really want to know this. What funding did you need to start up your business? And was it hard to secure the funding? So you can have um, grants. Um, you can go to grants.gov. You can uh, the the funding. Uh, it's it's also you got you got to start credit. So make sure you have business credit. Um, so it's all about when you have uh, a credit card. Get your credit card to st your business, and also that can have a level of funding, so that way you can leverage your business. All right, so what you're trying to say is uh, you didn't actually need a, what, what's the startup cost, rather? Oh, this. Oh, I'm sorry. The startup. Yeah, the, I'm yeah, sorry. The, the startup like, cost. You know, startup cost. Like, what do you need coming fresh out? Which I did. What you like? What kind of funds you need to put on the paper? For? Okay, so. Um, I, so I, I'm gonna just tell you how I started out. How I started out was just hustling in the streets, um, just just selling shirts and merchandise. Then. I would say like about a year and a half after that, that's when I started wanting to be an entrepreneur. And that's when I wanted to be a business entity. Uh, that's where you get the LLCs, the S Corp, C Corp. Then after when got that down, I got business credit. After that business credit, I started structuring a business plan. How can I execute on making people happy and making people motivational. Yes, it's about the money, but it's all about what is the purpose of your business to have it start off. And when you have, and, and also you gotta think long-term of what's your purpose. So, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, when, so when you have a purpose, uh, um, business entity, business credit, after we have that business credit, have a biz, have a have a plan. How are you going to execute to generate that money? How are you going to advertise it? How are you going to um, make it stand out for people? That way, people can you know buy your merchandise. Uh, what is the website? What what what's your website? You know, you gotta have a purpose. Okay. Think so, think long term. So it's long term, folks. You gotta think long term. So thinking of long term, what is your end game? Like, do you have an end game? Do you like want to start more ventures? Like, how do you think this is gonna end? So my, oh man, listen, my end game. Yeah, are you talking about twenty years, thirty years uh, from say, now? Let's just say twenty years in the future. Um, yeah, like, how do you think this is gonna be twenty years in the future from now? Oh, it's gonna be international. Yeah, my, my business is gonna jump off international, and you're gonna see me flying out just speaking to people and my podcast is going to be um just motivating folks and having purpose of people's going to come up to me like yo man or people's going to talk to me and say yo man you actually changed my life or you actually you know changed the way of my mindset of how it you know needs to work um and then i'll be talking to schools i'm going to be talking to people and then people is going to wear these merchandise internationally uh yeah international yeah that's i mean that's a goal right that's so a listen, goal. we're gonna wrap it up do you have any advice for people that's getting into business like you know start new business ventures in general do you have any advice for them so my advice for them is uh you know i'm, I'm not gonna give you the you know just work hard and um you know be disciplined and stuff so to start out what you need to do here's my advice to you any business 
person or anyone that's, you know, starting their business. They need to find out what do they love doing. After when you find out what you love doing, write it out. It can be like a hobby because your hobby is something that you love doing. So write it out on a piece of paper. What do you love doing? I love to, you know, play basketball. I love to cook. I, you know, love to uh, um, plant. I love to, you know, do architecture. You know, just a lot of things of what you, you know, different types of categories of what you like to do. Once you write that down, that's when it's time to execute. And when you execute on that, what you love in your hobby, try to see if how you can generate profit, how you can make, I'm sorry, how you can make money off of what your hobby is and get that into a business. Oh, that's very solid advice. Listen, we got Diamond Cash here, folks. You will see his link, his socials. If you want to shop with him, if you want to reach him, you're going to see it in the link, the bio, or the screen below. Good looking. Thank you for having you on Seal David with a few moments. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.